a decade ago when I wrote The Weathermakers, I anticipated that nuclear energy would be a significant ongoing part of the global energy mix. But looking back, you know, from the current perspective, you see that that's less and less likely to be the case. For example, the total uh, share of the electricity, global electricity production um, from nuclear has declined from about 17% a decade or more ago to about 12% today. Um, the total megawatts of electricity generated has also declined for nuclear. And I think that's, that's coming about for a number of reasons. Um, you know, if you're a, a capitalist with some capital to invest, um, are you likely to put 24, million, 24 billion pounds sorry, into a nuclear power plant that'll take 50 years to pay off? Um, and you have to sink all that capital now and it'll take years to develop and produce and so forth? Or are you more likely to put some money into solar panels or wind turbines, which are modular and much you can, you can do as much as you want. You can invest as much capital as you require for your immediate needs. Uh, and the payback periods are much shorter. Um, so, and you know, you're looking at that 50-year investment horizon for nuclear, you're making a bet that the renewables are not going to be more, you know, much cheaper than what you can generate 50 years from now. So um, capital, capital is increasingly reluctant to flow to nuclear power plants. It's only in countries like China that nuclear is now really being developed on a large scale. I think it's about 18 new plants being developed in China. There's one or two capitalist countries where government will put in the capital and accept the risk, such as the UK, but increasingly we're seeing the capital markets favour uh, the renewables just because they give you a, a, a much more secure return on your capital.